to my channel. If you're watching this, I'm probably already in Washington, so this is pre-recorded, so if anything is missing, or I forgot to include things in the video, or if it doesn't seem up to date, that is what's happening. Please forgive me. For this look, I wanted to use the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. This is not any of the new ones, this is the OG Chocolate Bar Palette, and the reason I wanted to use that palette is because when I first used it in one of my tutorials, I mentioned that it is so perfect for the holidays, for fall, the colors in it are so beautiful. It's definitely my favorite palette and it is the only one I brought with me here to Washington because I feel like it's so versatile. I can create really vampy looks, really simple looks, really clean looks. It has it all, plus it smells like chocolate so why not? And another cool thing I'm going to be doing in this tutorial is only using these four brushes to do this entire look. So normally I feel like I use a ton of brushes and I could see how that could be overwhelming for someone and that's just me using these brushes because they're at my disposal but you don't need every single brush to create a look. You can honestly simplify it. I'm gonna do it with just these four to show you guys that you can do it. You don't have to spend all your money on all these brushes you see people using on YouTube. You can do it with just the bare minimum and trust me because growing up I could not afford a single brush. I only owned maybe like two to three brushes my entire life up until like five years ago so I got your guys' back don't you worry so if you're interested and want to see how I create this look keep on watching per the usual I've already filled in my brows using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in medium brown so now I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes using the Laura Mercier Eye Basics Primer in linen and I'm being lazy so instead of petting in with my finger I'm just gonna use my beauty blender Using my MAC Mineral Eye Skin Finish Powder in Light Plus, I'm just going to dust it across the lids to set that primer and make it easier to blend out the shadows. And I'm using a Smith 112 brush to pat it onto my lids. I'm just going to be using two Morphe M433 brushes to do this entire look. So I'm going to try and simplify it for you guys so that you don't get overwhelmed by the amount of brushes that I use. I want to show you that you don't need a million brushes to create a look. You can really keep it minimal and get the same effect. So the first shadow I'm going to pick up from the chocolate bar palette with my Morphe brush is Milk Chocolate and I'm going to apply that to my crease. Using that same brush, I'm going to apply the color Semi Sweet deeper into the crease and then blend it in to that previous shadow we just applied. And now with the clean M433 brush from Morphe, I'm just going to blend these out. So the reason I have two is one is for blending, one is for applying shadow. And then pick up the other brush, the one that we're using to apply shadow, and pick up the color Cherry Cordial, which is like a deep plum, and apply that to the inner and outer corners of the eye. And again, pick up the clean brush to blend these out, but don't blend over the center because we're going to be applying another shadow there for a spotlight. And then before going in with that last shadow, take the brush that we're using to apply shadow and just kind of dust it off on a tissue because the last shadow we used was really dark and we're applying now a spotlight to the center. So just dust off any excess. And then the next color I'm gonna pick up is called Amaretto and I'm gonna pack that onto the center of the lid that has no color. And again, I'm gonna pick up that clean brush and just blend around the edges of this eye to make it a lot smokier and a lot softer. And if you need help with blending, pick up some powder, the same one that you used to set the lids before going in with any eyeshadow to help blend it out. So in this case, I'm using the MAC Vanilla Eye Skin Finish. So I'm gonna start blending and if it doesn't look really smooth, I'll just pick up some of this powder to help blend it out. And with that same brush, the one that I've been using to blend, I'm actually going to pick up some more of the Shadow Milk Chocolate and apply it to the crease because I feel like the shadow lost some of that little brown tint that it had and I really want that 
um, around the edges of the smoky eyes. So I'm just gonna pick up that shadow on this brush and apply it to that area. So now I'm gonna go ahead and work on the skin. I'm gonna start by highlighting before adding foundation. If you guys have been watching some of my most recent videos, you know that this has become a favorite technique of mine to give you that lit from within type of glow. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Poured, which is a cream highlighter in the shade Opal and a Zoeva 110 face shape brush to apply it to the high points of my face. I seriously love this highlighter, it's so good. So for foundation, I'm gonna be using my Kogan Doe Aqua Foundation in shades 123 and 143. More 123 though, because I am more towards the lighter side right now. So I'm gonna mix these two together on the back of my hand and then apply it to my skin with a damp beauty blender. And I just realized I forgot primer. I was gonna use the Pore Refining Primer from NARS. So don't forget to prime if you're going to wear this look all night long. I'm just going to keep going because I'm going to wash this off anyway. <laughs> and I'm going to put just a small amount of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Honey to correct any under eye darkness, but then go back over it with that foundation to even it out. And now I'm just going to set with powder. I'm using my Maybelline Shine Free Loose Powder. I seriously cannot get over how freaking good this powder is for $5.99. <laughs> and I'm just going to press this powder into my skin using that same beauty blender. And I just had to take a moment to fix my hair because it was looking a little crazy. Not that it looks any better now, or the sweater looks any better. <laughs> but anyway, rather than finish the rest of the skin, I'm actually gonna go back to the eyes to finish those guys up. So I'm just gonna take that same Morphe M433 brush, the cleaner one, the one that I was using to blend with, and apply milk chocolate to the lower lash line. And I'm also going to pick up the shadow Cherry Cordial with that same brush, but only apply it to the outer corner of the lower lash line. And just a tiny bit, you don't need a lot. For the outer edge though, I'll use that Smith 112 brush I used in the very beginning to set the lids with powder, and I'll pick up some of that powder to blend out the edges. So just like this. I'm going to be filling in my upper and lower waterline with my L'Oreal Carbon Black Extra Intense Liquid Pencil Eyeliner. That is a really long name for a product. <laughs> this eyeliner is so good. Um, like I mentioned before, normally when I apply liner to the waterline, I usually will rub a little on my hand to warm it up to make it easier to glide on. And this guy, without even doing that, just glides on so effortlessly so you're not being rough on your skin. So. I absolutely love this guy, also a drugstore option. And this eyeliner also has a little rubber smudger on the end, so I'm also going to use that to just smudge out the liner along the lash line on the bottom and on top. And I'm just applying a really tiny amount on the upper lash line, and then just smudging it out as I go. Now all I'm going to do is apply some mascara. I'm going to be using Benefit's Roller Lash Mascara and then applying a pair of false lashes. I'm going to be using the Flutter Dimensional Lashes in Paris. I think I'm going to use Marcipan. Marcipan? for a tear duct highlight. And I'm just gonna pick some up on my finger and then apply it right there. All right, now I'm just gonna be adding some bronzer, blush, and highlight using my Smith 112 brush. The bronzer I'm using is the Milk Chocolate Soleil by Too Faced.
And I'm just pinching this brush on its side to apply it to the sides of my nose. And in case you guys were staring at this and wondering where you can get this, I don't know if they were phasing them out when I bought it online because it was a part of Cyber Monday, but these bronzers do all come individually, they don't just come in this book. For blush, I want it to be really subtle, so I'm going to be using Dandelion by Benefit and that same Smith 112 brush. And for a highlighter, I'm using You Do You by Ofra Cosmetics. Just a tiny bit because I already applied that cream highlight, not too much. For the lip, I tried going super nude, but it just wasn't working for me. So I decided to go with Beeper Ultra Matte Lipstick from ColourPop with Urban Decay's Naked Lip Gloss in Freestyle on top. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I know a lot of you had been requesting more chocolate bar tutorials, so whether you already had the palette or you got it for Christmas, I hope you found this helpful, especially by cutting down on the amount of brushes I used to create this look. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so I see you in the next one. Bye guys!